Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel for another unboxing video. Today we're doing another Sugar Muses box. I'll put some more information about the box in the description below, but I'm ready to go ahead and open up this month's box. This is going to be for April of 2020. And I did hear, because of all of the crazy quarantine stuff that's going on right now, that there is not going to be a May box for Sugar Muses. So we'll be waiting until June, which is fine. Shit happens. And I'd rather not have people risking their health and safety just to bring me a subscription box. I'm just kind of sad that Christy's not going to have an income this month. So anyways, let's go ahead and open up this month's box. That's what the box looks like inside. And the theme of this month is Beltane. Which usually she puts Sabbath themed boxes together, so I am not surprised this is for Beltane. Beltane, meaning bright fire, is celebrated April 30th to May 1st from sunset to sunset. Beltane honors life. Earth energies are their strongest and most active. The world Beltane. The, the world. The world. The word Beltane originates from the Celtic god Bel, meaning the bright one, and the Gaelic word Tyne, meaning fire. Together they make bright fire, and traditionally bonfires were lit to honor the sun. Maypoles are a popular and familiar image of May Day in Beltane. Its many colored ribbons and the ensuing weaving dance symbolize the spiral of life and the union of goddess and god, the union between earth and sky. All right, so first we have this lovely piece of artwork on Artemis. And then we have our oracle card for the month. Ooh, this is pretty. Well, this looks ominous. <laughs> I'm going to have to go to the website to figure out what exactly it is. Yeah, this, is, this does not look like a bright and cheery card, though. <laughs> I'll just look that up later. Ooh what the box looks like inside there and right on top oh my gosh I love this so much on top there is a dream catcher and lots of little feathers and beads it's so pretty that's super cool I really like that as soon as I saw this I couldn't wait to share it with you I had to include it in the deluxe box as soon as possible its streaming faux suede ribbons remind me of the maypole, and the feathers and style of this piece remind me of Artemis, goddess of wild animals. The pentacle is a powerful symbol of protection, something we all need right now, and dream catchers have a very protective quality, guarding us while we are at our most vulnerable. Hang by your bedside or wherever you would like its protective energy to encompass you. Alright, and next we have some Beltane Ritual Salt. Smells really nice. Salts contain sea salt, rosemary, sage, essential oils of oak moth, mint, and cucumber extract. It's got that fresh smell to it. I like it. And her business card's in there, as it always is. And then wrapped in bubble wrap, it looks like we have a candle. There's lots of little things in there. That's cool. Wormwood and mugwort candle. like a metal arrow in there. Yep. Smells like trees. Hand poured and spell created to promote peaceful sleep, ward off nightmares for healing and protection. The ingredients have been carefully chosen for their magical properties. One may find in older formularies and references that wormwood and mugwort seem interchangeable due to their close plant relationship. You may wish to place the candle near the center of your altar. This candle is infused with dried herbs of mugwort and wormwood and features an arrow charm as a nod to the goddess Artemis. Please be sure to remove any charms from the wick before burning. Candle artwork by Kiari at style24.com.au Alright, wrapped in some bubble wrap. It's probably gonna be some oil. I don't know though, it's kind of in a long vial. Not like the regular oil tubes. Maybe it's a roll on. Oh no, it's perfume. It says Artemis perfume. Yep, it's got a roll on ball. Kind of smells like cinnamon and orange. Like kind of a spicy cleaning solution. All right, well this is Artemis Ritual Oil. 
Shake gently before using. Anoint your pulse points and third eye. Anointing oils are a powerful means of dedicating yourself or your magical components with energies correspondent to your intent. This magical oil blend contains balsam pine, vetiver, cedarwood, and citron essential oils in an almond oil base. I've also added skin nourishing vitamin E oil to the blend. Oils can be used to anoint candles, spell items, and altar tools because this oil is 100% organic and free of alcohol, phthalates, and other chemicals. I suggest using it within six months. Ritual oils may be worn as perfume to carry your magical intentions with you throughout the day and night. And we have some muslin bags, so there must be some tea in here. Do you enjoy my tea? Beltane herbal tea. This is caffeinated. Ingredients are raspberry leaf, nettle, lemon peel, vitex, lemon verbena, linden flower, cinnamon, rose petals, and stevia. Built-in herbal organic tea. Next, looks like we have a spray. I love that these are always in glass bottles. It says, the mist of the forest. Cleansing spray. Who? That is strong. I don't usually come across too many smells in these boxes that I don't enjoy. But I think this is one of them. I mean, it might be better, you know, when it's sprayed instead of just smelling it out of the bottle. But hey, this is like the first time I haven't enjoyed the scent of one of the sprays in there, so you're doing pretty good on a whole. This spray is all organic, created from distilled water, witch hazel, and infused with essential oils of cedar wood, rosemary, and mandarin. This mist serves as an instant cleaning treatment that helps dispel low vibes and helps purify the air. Alright, maybe it's the witch hazel that gives it that awful smell. So we have a cleansing incense blend. It's already, like, coming out of the bag. I don't really want to open this. But I'm guessing it's just like a loose leaf incense. I've added a blend of herbs that are known for their antibacterial benefits. In the year 429 BC, Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, recommended the burning of herbs to control an epidemic that affected livestock and humans in Athens. One study has shown burning herbs have antimicrobial and antioxidant properties and has shown to kill 94% of airborne bacteria. To use, place some loose herbs in a heat-proof cauldron or burner, light a small piece of charcoal disc, and place on top of the herbs. Please do not burn unattended. This blend contains white sage, rosemary, yerba santa, and eucalyptus. Just a couple more things. We have this lovely green satin pouch, and inside is this piece of green calcite. how you can see the lines in it. It's a really cool design. Raw green calcite. This gemstone is used to manifest transformation. It's known as the witch's stone and resonates with the heart chakra. Calcite in general will amplify and increase energy. Green calcite is an excellent stone for gardening and considered a stone of manifestation. It has the ability to develop increases in all areas of life. It will also enhance intuition and psychic abilities. Anoint your gemstone with a drop or two of the Artemis oil, and then after the ritual is complete, place by your bedside. And for those of you who don't know, uh, there's usually a ritual outlined in the Sugar Muses box. Not always, but a lot of the time there's a ritual included in the box that incorporates the items that you get. Which is cool that you get like a little bit of guidance. There's also like a bonus in here. Okay, so we got the loose leaf incense blend, but there's also incense sticks that say green fairy incense on them. They smell nice. I wonder if this has anything to do with absinthe. Maybe there's some wormwood in there, but I don't think they're listed on here. Yeah, so I guess we just got a bonus this month. All right, and there's just one last thing in a tiny little black box. <gasps> Ooh, that's really pretty. And this is a geode necklace. It's very sparkly. Nice smooth gold edges on it too. That's beautiful. Definitely get some use out of that. All right, well that was everything in the box. All in all, I think this was a really good box, even though the cleansing spray smelled terrible. <laughs> 
but everything else was really good. It more than made up for that. That's all I have for you today. So please give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe below if you'd like to watch more of my unboxing videos. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.